What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video and today we're still going to be working on the car because it just gets too hot sometimes so I'm guessing there probably is some sort of an air bubble that I want to get rid of so that is why we're going to go to a garage to get that done. I would have done it myself but I'm pretty sure the condo administration here would absolutely hate it if I got water and antifreeze all over the ground. They wouldn't like that. So we're gonna go to the true professionals to get this done. And hopefully the heat will stop going up because if it doesn't, that means I would need a vented hood on my Sephiro. Now I did read through the names that you guys were giving it, like Bumblebee, Lemon, what other ones were? I don't remember. Anyways, all of the names are good, but I don't know. You like, we should make a vote or something like that. What should we name it? What should we name the car? We need to vote so that it's gonna be everybody agreeing on the name. Anyways, let's go and get the car done. So once again, I came over to Storm Garage because I'm pretty sure that they know what they're doing because like they got all sorts of cool cars with you know, RB engines, J engines, and all the good stuff. So, you know, going to some random place, I don't think they will figure out a problem. Hopefully here, fingers crossed, they will know how to fix this problem. Now you can see my Sephiro right there. Uh, it's gonna get a coolant change. Hopefully we're gonna figure something out. But I gotta show you this. Look at this bad boy right here. That's one heck of a huge turbo it's got huge intercooler and the way it's set I wonder how the airflow goes from down there up and through the vents right here that's actually pretty good so the actual engine doesn't get that hot that's pretty nice this is one heck of a ride if you ask me looks nice you can see some C pimp fan is driving this car maybe you guys know him but I don't huge wing in the back getting charged very nice. What else do we got here? We just got a bunch of nice looking cars. You got the 350Z right here. Looking amazing. A Sylvia that we saw last time. And a bunch of other cars like BYD getting serviced. A BMW getting done. And the same Audi is still standing here. Probably some work being done on it. And a, another uh 350z wow guys i just noticed that i'm in huge danger right now check this out so there's this car right the trailblazer that says it's kgb kgb ussr in russian wow you gotta be careful with this car some kgb agent is driving this let's hope he's not after me because i do not want to get involved with any kgb right now that would not be a pleasant experience. Anyways, I really hope we get this problem sorted out so that we can actually uh, go on the highways at normal speeds without any heating issues or anything like that. Now, I've read a lot of forums saying that a lot of people who swapped engines, they have this heating problem, majorly because of fans, but um, like my cooler is huge, the fans are great. So the other reason could be that the coolant has an air bubble somewhere or something like that. It's just so many things that it can happen, but let's hope it's something very, very minor and it's not a money pit like a lot of you have said. So you could see there's a fan cooling down the radiator right now so they, they could open this up and it doesn't explode in their faces. Now you could see that this um, cooler is quite big. It's got two huge fans in here as well that should be heating down the engine. Now, when I'm driving in the city, it's fine. But when I get to the highways, it goes up to 100 degrees, which is not that good for the engine. So let's hope that we could figure something out with this. You could see we're getting rid of the old water inside so that we can actually put some proper coolant and hopefully it doesn't overheat. And if it does not work, I found a custom vented hood for, I think it's $200 to make it custom at a carbon fiber. So 
Yeah, if that doesn't help, we'll have to get that because we need to travel around Thailand and we need the heat to be very low for the engine so we don't run into any troubles traveling around to different places, showing you guys around. Better get those little things done. And uh, you know, if this car was in Russia, it wouldn't have been heating up so much because in Thailand it's like 40 degrees Celsius already. So when you get in the car, your engine is already at 40 degrees. And then you start it up, it gets hot and you know, the, the hood right here traps all the heat in. So that's why a lot of the cars with big engines and turbos in Thailand, they have vented hoods just like this one over here. So this is a vented hood. This is a vented hood. This is actually a metal vented hood, I think. Yeah, it is. It's made. Oh no, this is just like carbon fiber pieces inside of the... That's pretty cool. That's another way to make one, I guess. Guys, I'll show you what we had inside of the cooling system. It looks nasty. Look at this, guys. This was inside. This is not oil. This is like the old water with like rust pieces inside because they like to use um, water in Thailand. Oh, that ju smells just like the boiler room in the house in Russia because this is just boiled water so many times. Anyways, we're gonna get some good coolant in. Hopefully it'll get a few degrees skimmed off. This is what you gotta deal with when you got yourself a turbo 30 year old car. Anyways, we'll make it nice. We'll make it nice and we're gonna be able to go around the place. You guys gotta check out this beauty right here. Is this the coolant for this? Yeah. yeah, very nice. Finally, some good coolant and not this water. Very nice. Toyota pre-mixed. Very nice. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I think this will lower temperature a bit. Yes. Yeah, it's very good. Thank you very much, my friend, for everything. <laughs> Guys, I swear. You know, all the other garages which fixes up cars in Thailand, you would walk in and, you know, they have all sorts of different cars, but like no performance cars whatsoever. Coming here, every single time you see some cool car which is getting serviced up, and I doubt that some person who has a very expensive car would come over to a place which is not good. That's why a lot of people go to Storm Garage because people trust the work they do. I should get paid for advertisement of this place already, but you know, for the good work they do, I think it's good. So if you're in Pattaya, guys, you better go and service your cars over at Storm Garage. Well, unless I open my own one. <laughs> Finally, some good coolant is gonna go inside of the Sephiro, and hopefully that's gonna solve some of the problems. So the guy's got some sort of a funnel that's against air bubbles. So we're gonna be putting coolant in, and hopefully all the bubbles will start going up. So right now I'm at in a totally different repair shop where they fix up air conditioning and stuff like that. I have noticed just now that my car overheats when I turn on the air con on, which means one thing, there's something wrong with the air conditioning because it raises the heat so quickly. When I turn it off, the heat goes down, everything is fine, but it's impossible to drive it around with this heat. So we're gonna see what's up with the air con in the car and let's hope we get it fixed. Maybe then I don't need to get myself a vented hood because then it'll be fine. It won't be overheating or anything like that. So let's hope that we're gonna figure this out today because I wanna get on road trips already in this car. So now we're trying to figure out what the problem is with the car, why it's overheating when the AC is on. This guy seems to know it all, I guess. He looks like a professional. So the guys over at this shop are thinking that my engine is running 
too high RPMs, so they're checking what they could do with it. Maybe that'll fix the problem, I don't know. Maybe it will. I am absolutely amazed because this random place that I went to, that I found on Google, where they were just fixing a bunch of cars for Thai people and stuff like that, they fixed my problem. And the problem was that it had too much RPMs when it was just sitting around and that why it was overheating with the AC on. And now, if we look at the G-Ready right here, we're at 89 degrees, which is amazing, which is great because I'm running the AC, it's cold, and we are not overheating. Now, the next test would be to take it out for a spin to see how it does on the highway. And if it starts overheating on the highway, that means we will probably need a vented hood. But rather than that, it seems like it's working perfectly fine, finally. Amazing, those guys are geniuses. I'm probably gonna start going to them rather than Storm Garage because, I don't know guys, uh, it feels sometimes when you're in there that you're like, you know, ah, you're there, okay, fine, we'll do it, blah, blah, blah. But in this place, they did it. And I messaged Storm Garage and I was like, there's some problem. And he's like, well, you gotta cool down the car, you gotta stop, wait for it to cool down. They saw my car three times took those guys two minutes to figure out the problem. They fixed it and they took 200 baht from me. Amazing, I'm so happy. Still did not have breakfast or lunch. It is four o'clock right now, so I'm over at the condo. Gonna pick up Evelina and probably grab some lunch somewhere. So what the Thai service did only lasted for one road trip and now the car is heating up again. I guess the only fix is the way that the storm garage said, you have to get yourself a hood which has holes in it so it cools down. But me and Evelina have came over to a sushi place to eat a bit of sushi. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why she whispers into the mic. Anyways, let's have some food. Oh, look at the meal of the day. This is looking good. And all of this only costs like, I don't know, 70, 80, 100 baht with all this good sushi. Gotta get some soy sauce in. Now it's time to enjoy the sushi. So good. So a lot of people in the States were telling me that their 7-Elevens are not the best. So we came to this huge 7-Eleven we can't really travel far yet because my car gets hot and I need a ventilated hood. Now I did find a local Sephiro Club, which they could find me a used one. That'd be amazing. But right now we're gonna be checking out the 7-Eleven. But look at the Sephiro, it looks damn nice. Anyways, let's go inside of 7-Eleven and check it out. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, how about, uh, how uh, 280. Oh, standard, eh? Yeah, standard, but I will do tune-up. Oh, I want 400. Oh, you need 400? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, you see, JC. Yeah, yeah JC is very good. Yeah, modif uh, EC modified. Eh? But very hot. I want to get ventilated hood, so air go. Maybe you change a new fan, new motor, I have uh, big. Oh, you have big? Yeah, very hot still. Because it's very hot. Huh? Uh, 500,000. Hey, 500. Hey, it's Yeah, uh, needs a lot it's of... Low. Needs a lot of uh, it. What transmission? Automatic. Yes, automatic. Uh, yeah, tra transmission automatic. JC now. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, very good. It go pop, 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 pop. Well, had a nice chat with this Thai guy, and right now we're coming into a huge 7-Eleven. Look at the size. It even has two floors, and we could see all the different stuff we got. We even got beautiful Evelina right here. She already found something. She's asking me. Anyways, Evelina was in the toilet paper section, checking out toilet paper. The toilet paper was looking at, right? It was looking at. Yeah. Ah. So yeah, you got a lot of different. It's antibacterial. I don't know. Anyways, let's check out what they got here. So they got a wide selection of waters. Very nice. You got some peanuts. You got some robot. Look at this thing. I don't know what it's doing. 
Look at this Robert right here. He's just chilling out. And he goes around the place and has an Xbox inside. I don't know what the heck is going on. But anyways, what do we got here? We got a bunch of all sorts of different sandwiches which taste amazing. They're really good. Noodles. I mean, the selection is pretty much the same as in every single 7-Eleven. But in every single 7-Eleven, the selection is different. So here you got ramen noodles that I've never saw before. And then you got fresh bakery, which you don't see in the normal ones. So you could get yourself some raisin twist bread and stuff like that. Oh, so a lot of things you can get. I don't even know what this is. No idea. You know, you get a bit of Vaseline for the household needs. You never know. Sometimes you need that type of stuff. Maybe a shampoo, maybe some deodorant. What else do we got here? And some cosmetical stuff. And I think upstairs is where you could just drink some coffee, have some sandwiches. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, this 7-Eleven has pretty much the exact same stuff, but with a bakery. And uh, rather than that, it's pretty much the exact same. But it's still cool. It's very spacious and futuristic. It even has a huge screen right there. Pretty cool. Futuristic store. Also for all you Americans, Hershey's chocolate. I'm not a big fan of Hershey's, but look at the selection of all the Hershey's chocolates here. That's actually quite, I've never seen so many different Hershey chocolates. Then you got a bunch of Kit Kats. Now the best stuff is Cadbury. This is, if you like chocolate, you know that this is the best stuff. It's really good. And even more dark chocolate Hershey's. When you think it can't get worse, yes, it can. The food comments we get sometimes that, oh, you eat all the time, guys. Well, if you kind of consider going throughout a day, everybody eats twice a day, three times a day. This is the second meal intake we are going to have. I know it's not that interesting, but we are in Thailand and it's very interesting to see what sort of food they have. So we're gonna find a new place to eat and check it out and recommend it to you because if you guys visit Pattaya, then you will know where to eat. So that's why we're doing it. Look at this dog chilling out on the table. Anyways, we came to some place with a car and Evelina to get a bit of dinner. So we are at some market right now. A bunch of food everywhere. This is how Thai make it, you know? You get some fried chicken, you got some fried chicken. You got everything you need up in this place. Salads, meat or steak. You got some potatoes. You got some sushi. You got some cocktails. You got everything up in here. So, Evelina thought it's a good idea to eat some babies today. And no weirdos, it's not what you're thinking about. I'm talking about little shrimps. So Evelina is gonna be having little shrimps. This is little shrimps. The one you could see swimming around here. And it's gonna be fried over there. So let's see how it tastes like. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be good? Or is it gonna be bad? I don't know. Evelina's little shrimps are ready. You can see they're being formed. Oh wow, this is gonna be crunchy. Guys, I'm gonna be trying out the shrimp. Little baby shrimp, you can see it right here. Mmm, crunchy and tastes really good. It actually tastes really good, I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be crap, but it actually tastes like, you know what? Like shrimp potato chips. Funnily enough, they're shrimp, but no potato, so. But it tastes really good, I like it. Something new you try every day here. So guys, I was thinking of getting, funnily enough, a pizza in the market, but I saw this, a taco place. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, is your taco good? good. Oh, that's what I want. Um, let's see. Am I gonna have a burrito? Uh, what size is burrito? What size? Like, you can show like this. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, I will have. Which one is better, chicken or beef burrito? Yeah, what's good, chicken or beef? Beef? Okay, I will have one beef. So I got myself tacos and a burrito. Evelina got a fish, she said it wasn't nice. The only thing that was good was this, so let's try out the taco. Is it better than Taco Bell? You know what? It's different, but I wouldn't say it's bad. Not bad, just meat with uh, salsa, and uh, I think it needs a bit of lime or something, but it's not bad at all. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this video. On Friday, we have to go and register our car. I actually got a story for you, but that's gonna be in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below because I read every single comment that you guys post. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully you, yourself, yes, you, behind the screen right now, you better be having a good day because if you don't, I'll have to get out of that screen and make you a good day. Anyways, hopefully this video cheered you up Maybe, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, see you later and have a good one.